What's going on guys, Chu here bringing you another review slash reaction on Eden Zero. This chapter was actually not bad, but we're finally seeing the Eden Zero making their way into the battlefield. And now I think with the way this chapter ended, I'm excited for the confrontation that we're going to be having, or at least what I hope to be happening in the next chapter. But in this one, we actually start off with Laguna. We actually have him talking to his former members of the group, in Godwin's group, and we actually see him, or Goodwin, whatever, and we actually see them talking, and we hear more about Laguna's past. Why the hatred for this person? And it turns out, it looks to be that they're more upset as a collective whole that because of him deserting and having this person that was close to them named Princess dying, they really have this grudge against him, you know, and they used to work together a lot, and obviously he was part of the group, and it was funny how, some, like, the, the guys were even saying how if he wanted to have him killed, he would have died already, and Laguna actually is even confronted with, with uh, Wise here, which was actually kind of interesting to see how Wise was so angry at the fact that if something were to happen to his friends, that he would kill Laguna. And we also see how Laguna actually has his, I guess, a truce amongst the other members of the group. And just kind of like, notice, knowing that, you know, there's no way they're going to bring back this princess, who apparently was the daughter of the previous, previous boss, who died basically being a hero, or heroine, excuse me. And she will not really be brought back. And so... You know, I, I like how they're like, you know, we're not going to do anything. We're going to work to try to get to defeat Shura for for what he did to our princess. And obviously that's more important right now. So I, I do like that they touched on this subject and uh, getting to know a little bit more of Laguna. And this is what he's been wanting this whole time. He's been wanting to get to his destination. That is the, the Shura, which is why he also j joined up with Drake and because it was on, honestly one of his goals. And so Laguna was never a bad person. He has just been in bad situations. And it's had him lead this life that he's had. And so we then get to see how we kind of have like this little moment here between Couchpo and Rebecca. Which honestly in my opinion is foreshadowing some death. I honestly can see Couchpo dying protecting her, her Rebecca and any, well actually any of the members of the Ed and Zero because it seems like that could possibly be a reason. Like the way she was talking is like, I will protect my friends and we'll always be doing, well, I can protect the kitchen and do things together. You know, that just sounds like death talking right there. And it, it's just my opinion. I don't think, I don't know if it'll come to fruition that we'll lose Couch Boat, but it's a possibility in my opinion that we would lose her and it would not be a surprise. But also we see how like, the other members of God Goodwin's group actually start splitting up and how they're able to work fast. And I, that's one of the things I really enjoyed about that, like how they were able to work fast and opening a space for the group and them getting ready to fly in. We also get to see how uh, Sylph and, well, Incline, both of them getting, I guess you could say, ready for battle and just in general, just having a little bro sis moment here, which was kind of fun to watch. But then Shiki getting pumped up and ready. Even though he doesn't want to kill nobody, he knows he has to be part of this fight because Shura is going to just try to destroy all these androids and robots and such. And so the actual chapter ends by seeing Shiki and the rest of them getting through and Shura actually being a bit surprised and thinking Ziggy has arrived. But then he's like, that's not Ziggy's omen. What is this dark gravity? So we can already see that Shiki's serious at this point. He's got that aura on him already. He's already angry, possibly, and ready to attack. So really, there's been a lot, the last couple of chapters have been setting us up for this, and I'm ready to see Shura and Shiki go at it. So honestly, pretty cool setup chapter, a little more background story, but overall, not bad, and I'm just ready for some actual action. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment below your thoughts, and as always, stay safe, and I will catch you later.